the most outrageous archaeology in the world. 1980. Japanese archaeologist Shinichi Fujimura unexpectedly excavated 48 ancient stone tools. His discovery is direct proof. More than 40,000 years ago, humans lived on Honshu Island, and after more than 20 years of debate, the question of whether Japan had the Stone Age has also been put to an end. Not long after, Fujimura Shinichi has made another significant discovery. He was in the surface layer 170,000 years ago. Uncover the iron evidence of the existence of the Paleolithic Age in Japan. Although these stone tools are all on the same plane, but it doesn't affect the collective revelry of the Japanese people. After going through these two experiences, Shinichi Fujimura seems to have some advantages. Afterwards, he became even more like the male lead of Shuangwen, even dating Japanese archaeology, directly refreshed to 700,000 years ago, approaching the age of Peking Man in China. As soon as the news comes out, national jubilation, Japan immediately introduced policies to incorporate this epic-making discovery into textbooks. And Shinichi Fujimura also became a fan, became Japan's national hero. He even threatened, I can still excavate stone tools that are 1 million years old or even older. This will mean that the origin of humanity may be completely altered. However, this is where the story develops. But there was a dramatic reversal. People raised doubts. The god of archaeology who has never published a single paper. How to achieve this among so many archaeologists? Is he the only one who has gained anything? Later, someone placed a monitor on site, discovered that Fujimura Shinichi was resting, sneak into the scene, and then buried the things he carried underground. After his clumsy technique was exposed, the entire archaeological community was shocked. The Japanese Archaeological Association was also forced to announce, Fujimura Shinichi has 162 instances of fraud, zero archaeological achievements. With this heinous lie exposed, Japanese archaeology has also become a laughing stock around the world. That's the man, with one's own strength, setting Japanese archaeology back a full 20 years.